there in this video i'll be showing you it was actually requested so i'll be showing you um how you can use dimensional analysis the application of dimension in getting the right relationship between physical quantities so we have um from the question we have period t that's time is proportional to the mass length and acceleration due to gravity so they're asking us to find the correct relationship between all these quantities now it means um we do not know whether m is um raised power of zero whether l is raised power of minus one whether g is raised power of minus two so because of dimensional analysis we can actually get the correct relationship so let's get started since we do not know the relationship all right uh, our time is still proportional to m we do not know the exact relationship so we'll assign variables to the powers of these quantities so we'll assign l and for g we we'll assign z so the next step is to present these quantities in their dimension form so looking at the left hand side we only have a um, c so it means if we'll include m l and t which are the three basic dimensions it means m will be raised power of zero l will be raised power of zero y2 will be raised power of one because t is is the only one represented here l is not represented m is not represented so m raised power of zero gives you one l raised power of zero gives you one and one times three is equal to t so there's no magic done here it's t equal then the proportional to a um, mass is already in its dimension from the fundamental form then the same goes for the length we move to acceleration due to gravity dimension for that is lt raised power of minus 2 i'm not going to go over um, how we got lt raised power of minus 2 um, i've done a video on that the link is in the description so you could watch then come back to the video so this is our g l to raised power minus two don't forget there's there's a z over the g so we'll put it back so let's continue we have m raised power of zero l raised power of zero t raised power of one still proportional to m raised power of x times l raised power of y so let's open the bracket this z affects both l and t so it becomes L raised power of z times t raised power of minus 2z. Remember, indices the power is 1, so 1 times z is z. The power is minus 2 minus 2 times z is minus 2z. So um, we'll continue m raised power of 0, l raised power of 0, t raised power of 1, proportional to m x. So we have 2y multiplying each other. Um, this is there's a multiplication sign don't let it confuse you and the law of indices says when we have when the bases are the same we add the powers so we'll be saying y plus z then um, times t raised power of minus 2z so now we have mlt on the left hand side and we have mlt on the right hand side next thing to do is to equate the power and so when we equate the power the power of m is zero the power of m at the right hand side is x so x equal to zero let's move to l it means we have y plus z what's on the right hand side equal to zero it um looking at t we have minus 2z which is on the right hand side equal to 1 so looking at this algebraic equation we can actually get z so by dividing both sides by minus 2 so this comes to this and our z becomes negative 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 we have our x to be 0 our z to be negative 1 over 2 we can easily get our y from equation 2 we take um, z to the other side becomes y equal to negative z y equal to negative z and so our y equal to negative what's our z minus 1 over 2 
so minus times minus is plus it becomes 1 over 2 so our y equal to 1 over 2 we've gotten our x to be equal to 0 y equal to 1 over 2 and z equal to minus 1 over 2 now we are going to substitute this into the equation we have here so we have t is proportional to m remember m is raised power of x which is 0 l raised power of y which is 1 over 2 and g raised power of z which is minus 1 over 2 so uh, period t will be proportional to m raised power of 0 is 1 so we leave it aside according to the law of indices l raised power of 1 over 2 means square root of l so we have times indices again um, g raised power of minus 1 over 2 gives us 1 over square root of g now any variable any number raised power of 1 over 2 means a square root of that variable or that number when we have a negative 1 over 2 it means um, we have to introduce 1 over that root so now we have gotten this um, our period t is proportional to l over g now when i'm, I'm sure we did sort our t will be equal to root l over g when we multiply both of these together it gives us root l over g and now don't forget we asked to find the direct um, relationship so removing this proportionality sign we have we put an equal to sign it means you have to introduce a constant k so it's period equal to constant k times root l over g now if you know um simple harmonic motion variable you'll see that this um, formula is kind of familiar and the k stands for 2 pi so 2 pi root l over g so this is direct formula just imagine with dimension we could predict just look at what we've gone through with dimension we could actually um get the exact an accurate relationship between this i'm sure you learned a lot from this video if you have any issues concerning any topic you have to write it in the comment box of course this video was based on a request and we delivered so we are waiting for your request and we will deliver an equation in your e-test or your e-exams to check whether the, the the equation is dimensionally correct you don't need to solve this hint will help you any formula you see around any equation you see around that you know and they actually use in math in physics or chemistry seeing like s equal to ut plus half gt square it they are dimensionally correct so you don't need to waste your time solving and solving so that's the hint for this thanks for watching if you're here to subscribe make sure you subscribe for more tutorial videos and share these videos to your friends to your classmates to your colleagues really need to watch this